What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Chronic Blur. And in the spirit of Attack on Titan, today we are going to be reacting to the top 10 most brutal Attack on Titan moments. Let's get straight to it, bro. These, these should be good. These should be good. I ain't gonna lie. I forgot that shit happened. I forgot that happened. Yeah, I remember that. That was season. I think that was season. That was, that was the end of season one. Look at my dog. The fucking goat. The goat. He beat the shit out of him for no reason. For this list, we'll be looking at the most violent, savage, and unpleasant moments featured in the Attack on Titan anime so far. Which savage Attack on Titan moments had you really from its sheer brutality? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, tell me which you want to see next. Number 10, Army Nukes Marley. Hey. By far the coldest shit. Cause I because you never thought if, even 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 them giving Armin the Titan, you never would have really thought that that's what they was that that they would have him do stuff like that. Like because he always never really had the heart for stuff like that, bro. For just total destruction like that, crazy. Who could have ever imagined that the timid yet kind-hearted Armin would one day cause such destruction? But the way that the way that Titan was animated was crazy. I like I like his I like how it wasn't for season four. Infiltrates the perimeter of Marley's naval fleet. Blue they shit. <laughs> they saw shit was sweet. <laughs> Once in position, he transforms into the colossal Titan, annihilating the fleet as well as killing scores of innocent people. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure he came up with that plan. What makes this even more tragic is that only by becoming the very thing he fought against was he finally able to understand the feeling of his predecessor, Berthold. Number 9, Galgar and Nanova's Despair. Although they fight valiantly against the incoming Titan horde, I just thought they would never get out of this. I never thought they would have, they would have got out of this situation. They were just trapped. In his final moments before being carried away by the Titans, Gelgar desperately tries to. That was cruel, though. He can't even get a drink out, boy. Oh man. Ironically used to treat Reiner's wounds. As for Nanaba, her final moments are a lot worse. Falling into hysteria as she's torn apart by Titans, all while begging for mercy from her abusive father. It is a scene so brutal that even Emir felt sickened by it. Yeah, I never even noticed that, bro. Levi beats the hell out of Eren Yeager. It's crazy because when at this part of the show, Levi had to do that, bro, to show dominance over, like, to show everybody, like, the government and stuff like that, that and that he could beat, like, he could literally beat Aaron ass whenever the fuck he felt like it. Like, they had total control over him with him. That ain't the same shit in season four, though. Life to stop a Titan invasion, the revelation of his Titan powers results in Aaron being brought to trial. <laughs> The fact that most people are demanding his execution is bad enough, but even that is tame compared to what comes next. After an intense declaration from Eren almost causes him to be shot by armed guards, Levi intervenes and proceeds to beat the ever-loving crap out of him. Bro. And they still do it today though, Loki, Loki, Loki. Although he does this to save him, watching Levi dish out a beating while Eren is unable to fight back is a sight so savage that even those wishing for Eren's demise are left speechless. 
Number seven, leaving Marco to die. In the aftermath of the battle for trust, Jean discovers that his friend Marco is among the many victims who perished during the Titans' invasion. What? What? The fact that Marco was bitten nearly in half is brutal enough, but when the true details of his death are later revealed, it becomes so much worse. <laughs> After accidentally discovering that Berthold and Reiner are the colossal and armored titans, they quickly subdue him. They were some hollows, bro. They was, bro. Like no matter no matter every, no matter the reason they ever coming down to it, bro, they was hollows. They was hollows, bro. They was some hollows. Whatever to know Kylo was gonna die. Well, you can still look at A. Rather than kill him themselves, Reiner forces Annie to strip Marco of his Hey, look, and that was the first time and we saw Annie. Annie really didn't want to do that, bro. She showed, like, a lot throughout this throughout the show that she didn't care about stuff. But she didn't want to do that, bro, at all. Like, that was not some shit that she just wanted to do. Odie and Pia, making him unable to escape from an incoming Titan. Though they successfully keep their secret intact, the act of leaving Marco to die leaves them all traumatized. <laughs> Like that expression that you get on any face, you never see that. Number six, Armin gets burned. When it comes to standing up to Thor, <sighs> they don't get much bigger than the colossal titan. I ain't gonna lie, this was this was ghost shit for his character, bro. In order to help Eren defeat the titan, Armin acts as a decoy by fighting it on his own. Gathering all of his courage and determination, Armin forces the Titan into a battle of attrition after it tries forcing him away. Who thought Armin was going to be on that, though? Like, Armin, Ar look, hey, Armin low key a cold character, bro. I give him a cold character. I ain't going to give him ghost status, though. He don't get ghost status. Forced to endure unimaginable pain, Armin refuses to back down. While his resolve remains strong, Armin's self-sacrifice hey. results in his body. They crisped his ass. They, they barbecued his ass. No cap. No cap. Burho barbecued his ass. Beyond recognition. <laughs> Number five, the deaths of Sophia and Udo. Now look, I ain't got a lot of sympathy in my heart for the Marlins, bro. But when they trampled them little kids, bro, I was like, damn, <laughs> bro. Because in a crowd of people like that, bro, shit like that happens, bro. It's just like, shit, if your ass ain't running, bro, shit, you, you finna get your ass ran over, bro. It's tough. I ain't gonna lie. One moment you're enjoying a festival with your friends, next thing you know, you're fighting to stay alive. After Eren transforms into a titan and kills the head of the Tiger family, his actions also result in the deaths of numerous civilians. <laughs> Among them is the young soldier Zofia, who is crushed by a piece of debris. Their comrade Udo, on the other hand, is not as lucky. It's trampled. <laughs> Seeing it from both sides, bro, is actually crazy, bro. Seeing it from both sides, bro. In his futile attempt to save her, he's trampled to death by a terror. While his friends Gabby and Colt are forced to watch the horrific scene, unable to escape. <laughs> Number four, Hannes' death. During the operation to save uh -huh. from the mm, top four. Titans, top four. I feel that. And Nikasa have an unfortunate reunion with the Titan responsible for killing his mother. Bro, what's crazy is she that smiling Titan is starts the story, bro. And it's crazy that we learn something about her basically every single season. Like you learn how you learn how she she a part of the royal family. She was he she was his dad, first wife, and Zeke mom. Like it's crazy because she the one that literally kills his mom, bro, at the start of the story, bro. And all the way to season four, we still learn new stuff about her. Not even a character for her, just a titan. 
Eager to make up for his cowardice and inability to save Eren's mum, Hermes attempts to kill it himself. Upon learning that he is unable to turn into a titan and help Hermes, Eren desperately tries to trigger his transformation to the point where he damn near bites through his hand. In the end, Hermes is unable to avoid the titan's grip and is devoured. <laughs> The scene is so traumatic that Eren's mind breaks down, cursing his own powerlessness. <laughs> Number 3, Bedhold begs Damn, to be saved. Whether fans like or despise this guy for what he's done, there is no denying that this is wholly unpleasant. <laughs> Oh yeah, look, hey, look, that was the one, bro. That was the one, bro. I was like, damn, I didn't even need the Titan though. Didn't even need the Titan. That was the one. So that he could eat Berthold and acquire the Colossal Titan's power. The f what what the boss for you to ask for help talking about guys help me oh bitch ain't nobody helping you bro death bitch the fuck accept his fate Berthold desperately calls for help from his former comrades who refuse to rush to his aid however it is his final words that are the most chilling as he desperately calls out to his Malian comrades. <laughs> Though he reaped what he sowed, watching Bedhold squirm in crazy. The fuck? All these goddamn ads. It's easy to sit through. Number two, Levi slaughters the beast titan. Hey. Hey. Goat Vi, nigga. Goat Vi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sir. Every time I see it, it's made me, it's made me it's just slaughter. Look at this. Look at this slaughter. Look at this slaughter. He thought she was sweet, though. Look, try to swing. Try to swing. Huh. Huh. Look at this shit. Weave. Bitch, I'm on your ass. Hibachi, bitch. Look on his ass. He's among the strongest titans out there. It proves powerless against Levi's rage. What follows is a one sided revenge massacre where Levi overpowers and eviscerates the beast. Well, he thought he was hardening it. Oh, no. No. You're not hardening shit. I'm on your ass. You finna have fun. Slice, 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 slice on his ass. Beast Titan really thought she was sweet that first round, bro. It's crazy. Hacking and slashing until he rips Zeke right out of his hairy hide hole and gives him a taste of survey cool steel. Bitch ass nigga, look, yeah. Now what? <laughs> yeah, now what? There was only one beast on that battlefield. And it wasn't Zeke. It's the <laughs> goat vibe, baby. Yeah. Here's some honorable mentions. All right, honorable mentions. Kills Levi's squad. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That was, that was, that, and this one was fucked up, bro. This one was fucked up. Because she was, she was ruthless with that. If goat vibe wasn't number one, it wasn't number one. Aaron and Mikasa kill kidnappers. I, I, I understand I'm not making the list, but that one, this is cold heart. This is cold. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to the Cap, I ain't gonna lie. Look, I was, I was saying what was, what was higher than goat, than goat vibe, bro. Aaron eating the Warhammer Hammer Titan is fucking wild, bro. Is wild, bro. Is wild. It was crazy brutal too, bro. As a result, Aaron's personality drastically changes, 
to the point where he's even willing to kill other humans, Thanks. including civilians. One of the most brutal examples of this was demonstrated in his victory over the Wilhammer Titan, Lyra. <laughs> Hey, a lot of people didn't like season four um, CGI on the, especially on the Titans. I think it was pretty clean. Like when they was when they was all on screen together, I think it was it was actually pretty clean, bro. I think it's gonna be better in this part two because I think they got more time. You know what I'm saying? I think they had more time. I think they got more time. I think it's gonna look a lot better and cleaner. But I mean, I don't really feel like the CGI was really that wonky at all, bro. I think it was good. Like, bro, who? You telling me you can't say the Warhammer Titan didn't look good, bro. The Warhammer Titan looked good, bro. It it, it looked pretty damn good for the first time us seeing it, bro. You can say that about Aaron Titan. Hey, look, then you then uh, yes, Galliard as a fucking nutcracker, boy. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Bitch, stop playing. No, 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 y'all. No, y'all. Look at this again. Look at this again. Look at this again. Before using his titan to break open Lyra's crystal shell. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Bitch, look. No, yeah. Nutcracker, huh? That's all you good for. It. Look, then. Look. Look. Put his ass down. To kill his comrade against his will. Look. It's money. Gluttonously swallowing her remains. Dog. Hey, look. I was in my room screaming at the top of my fucking lungs when this shit happened, boy. This shit was clean. Yeah, bitch, you're a nutcracker. That's all you are, bro. And I'm the goat. And I'm the goat. So which Titan list do you want to Hey. Hey, look. Look, that was just in the spirit of Attack on Titan coming out this Sunday, bro. Man, that was the that was the top ten most brutal Attack on Titan moments. I'm out, bro. Join the gang.